Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. Today after the day job, I am off to check out the new anime film, The Tunnel of Summer, The Exit of Goodbyes. This film tells the story of two students who find a tunnel that grants wishes, but unfortunately it costs the user, or I guess you'd say the person asking for the wish, it costs them time off of their lifespan. Doesn't really go into detail on how much time, but I'm sure bigger the wish, more time. That's just a theory. It didn't say that in the description. Anyways, I am super stoked to get out the door, or well, I go to work, and then get out the door to go see this movie because I love the fact that I get to see anime in movie theaters. I am an old anime fan. Like, it goes way back when into the, the late 80s, 90s, all that good time, and it was not the easiest to get our hands on. I'm not going to go into great detail. I've talked about it in other videos. You can look it up. But uh, let's just say when I was younger, anime was very niche and it was very difficult to get your hands on especially if you didn't necessarily live in a coastal city I guess you could say it wasn't very easy and so nowadays with all of the access that younger people and myself included have to anime it is so much fun and it's a bit overwhelming to be perfectly honest I mean it used to be I would go into a video store if I was lucky and I would find one or two videos and it was never like a complete series like he would be like episodes seven eight and nine and you're like okay cool let's find out what's going on in the middle of this whole thing but that's just what we had and that's the best we could did we could deal with right so it's so cool to see things on netflix hulu crunchyroll and such and getting anime out there to a wider and bigger audience it's really neat to see where the fandom of anime has come from and where it is today but you know what enough of me yammering about this because guys i got to get to the old day job we have a new exhibit the robots yeah it's pretty cool so i need to get out the door because i got work to do and then it's time for me to go see the tunnel of summer the exit of goodbyes Welcome back, just getting home, and you know what guys, this movie really surprised me. I went into it expecting a lot more of a fantasy driven anime, and what I found was a cute little love story. Okay, so normally I like to start things with negatives and then move into the positives and such, but the more I think about this movie, the more I like it, honestly. I don't really have anything to say bad about this film. I think the only thing is, is that if you do watch the trailer and you read the premise of the film, you are going to expect a lot more of a, a fantasy styled anime. Now, I'm not saying there aren't elements of fantasy in this film. There is the tunnel that grants wishes and all. And it was also a little misleading, I think. It wasn't that it takes years off your life. It's like time moves fast. So like if you're in this tunnel for a few seconds, it could be, you know, a day or so. So the time works very strange while you're in this. So if you walk all the way through this tunnel, they don't really know, but the film guesses maybe a hundred to a thousand years to get all the way through this. So you don't age or anything. It's just time around you changes. And when you come out the end of the tunnel, your wish is granted. So it's kind of a cool premise. And so I was expecting that to be the main focus of the 
the film was this tunnel because it's got such a cool story attached to it. But actually, it's the story of the two friends, the two young people that find this tunnel, and both of them have their reasons for going through this tunnel to get their wish granted to them, and neither one of them care that time is going to pass and the lives that they're leading are going to be left completely behind. That is not important to these two. I really, really enjoyed the story and the premise of this. I like the fact that the fantasy did take a back burner in this film. It's there, don't get me wrong, but the really good stuff doesn't happen in the fantasy world. The really good stuff in this film are the moments just between our two characters, getting to know each other, getting to learn the rules of how this tunnel works, and of course, it's a love story, falling in love. This film does such a good job of delivering such a fun little story in an extremely short amount of time. The tunnel itself ends up being more of a metaphor for what the characters are going through than rather a fantasy world kind of place. I enjoyed this film a lot. I did see the subtitled version. I don't know if there's any difference between the subtitles or the dubbed. There's Both versions were available, I just wasn't able to make it to the dubbed screening. I do, unfortunately, I know there's some of you out there that have your beliefs and such. I am more of a fan of dubbed because for me at least, it, it's kind of difficult to pay attention to what's going on the screen and constantly reading, but the more I go and see films that are subtitled, the easier this is becoming, and it's a lot easier to pay attention and enjoy the film. So in my opinion, you know, go see it in the subtitle. Go watch it in the original Japanese. I mean, that's the way the film was made originally anyway, so go check it out. I really enjoyed it. The voice acting was also very good. I guess I've been in the positives this whole time. Did I need to tell you this? Okay, but <laughs> anyways, the voice acting is really good. I mean, yes, it was in Japanese. I couldn't understand what they were saying, but I could tell the emotions. I could get across the, through tone and just the vibe that they were giving off was really, really good. The acting was really fine, especially considering this film really only has two characters. There are a handful of sub-characters, I guess you could say, but the movie zones in really on our two, and I liked that. It was so, it was so nice just to watch a very intimate small film like this, but also be such a big animated film. The animation in this movie is outstanding. It is very, very, very well done. And it's not just in the, the magic tunnel. Yes, the magic tunnel looks very cool, don't get me wrong, but just the way the city's drawn and the characters and the way everything flows, it feels very natural and very real. I really enjoyed the animation in this film. All in all, guys, I do believe this is a very solid movie. If you're a fan of anime, Heck, if you're not a fan of anime, definitely check this movie out. It is solid. I really enjoy it. As I always like to say, remember people, animation is not a genre. It's a medium. You can use it however you like to tell a story, and it is used beautifully in this film. Could this movie be a live action movie? Yes, it could. But I don't believe that the emphasis and the emotional impact of the tunnel and what it really represents could have been used really in a live action film. I think that in this incident, the animation does bring a very different level to the movie and it's very needed. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. If this film is showing in your town, go check it out. It is definitely worth your time. If you are a fan of anime, if you're not a fan of anime, I think this is a solid one to get out and see. Okay, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for checking out the Film Geek. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.